Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Nintendo Wii. Released in 2010, Donkey Kong Country Returns is pretty obviously the uh, sort of reboot, so to speak, of the Donkey Kong Country series. Um, I, of course, am a big fan of the first two. The third one, maybe not so much, but um, one and two are definitely a couple of my favorite games. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. This will be a 100% run. Uh, you can see there, there's kind of my practice fob. I've got 200% on it, so uh, we'll get into that towards the end. Um, and there's a sort of a thing I've been practicing on a little bit. Uh, we're going to be starting a new game. Um, like I said, this will be a 100% run, which means we're going to be getting all of the puzzle pieces and all of the Kong letters in each stage. Uh, basically, you know, it's kind of game defined 100%, so uh, it's pretty simple what that entails. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then, well, we'll see once we get into it, of course. But for now, let's go ahead and start up a new game. Alright, so let's see here. Of course, we can choose between one and two players, which, well, as you can hear, it's just me, so we're going to be doing one player. Um, there's not really too much in the options, I don't think. Yeah, just audio and how to control, which we don't need either. Alright, so uh, don't have any extras unlocked yet. We're going to be doing that as we play through, so let's go ahead and pick one player and get this thing started. So that's the story, right off the bat here. Shake the Wii remote to beat this guy up and get him out of our house. There he goes. And we can now start out the first stage. So that's kind of the story, this big evil uh, tiki head thing has sort of erupted from the volcano, has hypnotized all the animals with its little minions and told it to steal all the bananas. So obviously as monkeys, we can't have that. Um, so that's what we're going to be taking care of. Um, it's pretty similar, actually, to the original Donkey Kong Country games, if you've ever played those. Um, we do still have the roll. You kind of have to, like, shake the Wii Remote to do almost anything in the game, though. Um, we can also kind of ground pound, which is sort of the new um, big thing that they've introduced. It was in the original, but you really never used it, so um, it's actually going to play a pretty large role here. And the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we got our two hearts up there. We can get hit twice before we die. Um, if we jump up here and go back into our house... We can see there's a balloon here. This is a one-up balloon, still the same as the original Donkey Kong Country. As you can see, we have five lives now. We're also going to jump back down and go into this little uh, cave to the left, because this is going to house our first puzzle piece. Um, as you can see, in this level, there are nine, so we're going to be collecting all of those for 100% in each of the stages. Um, there are also going to be Kong letters, K-O-N-G. We're going to have to collect all four of those. And uh, you can jump on enemies to kill them. You can also roll. Um, this pig's going to pop up every now and then, kind of give you uh, tutorials on what to do. Uh, so you can roll into enemies, but you don't roll forever, so uh, make sure that you've kind of planned your space out. Here's the first of the Kong letters, K. 
So uh, we also want to head back to the left, make that jump there. And then we can also do a uh, new move that's a little bit strange. If you crouch and shake the Wii Remote, you blow, and uh, you get a puzzle piece out of the dandelion there. I have no idea how that works, but, well, we'll just take it and run. Um, so let's just keep going to the right. I mean, you've pretty much said uh, these are most of the mechanics that we're going to be dealing with for the time being. Watch out for these pillars. They wake up and try to fall on you. Uh, we can get this one here. I think if we ground pound this, we, yeah, get another puzzle piece. That's number three. Let's keep on going to the right, and a bunch of stuff's going to be happening to the background. So, yeah, you can kind of see um, it's pretty similar, actually, to the original Donkey Kong Country in a lot of ways. Um, obviously, you know, the graphics and everything have been enhanced. Um, it's also a little bit different in that we have two hits, um, so that's just kind of how that works. But um, you can also hear by the music, if you've ever played it, that it's uh, pretty much just a remix of one of the original themes. And you're going to see that a lot throughout the game, so... All right, here we're going to jump on this flower, and uh, these two statues will open up and start shooting bananas out for us to catch. Um, we want to catch them all. Don't worry. I mean, you can see I'm missing quite a few, because uh, as you can see, they will sort of uh, loop back around. Um, you want to catch these all somewhat quickly, but you've got a lot of time. Um, and then once you do, that's the last one, these butterflies will pop out. But more importantly, we get our next puzzle piece. That's number five, so yeah, we've already got most of them. Uh, they're not all this easy. Don't worry. This is just the first stage. And uh, there you see we've got the O in the uh, pit that we can't really seem to get without dying. But uh, this is also sort of a mechanic carried over from Donkey Kong Country. If you roll off and then jump, as you can see, you can uh, jump sort of in midair um, without, you know, getting killed there. So I uh, picked up a DK barrel here. We can throw it and kill stuff with it if we want. We've also picked up Diddy, um, very similar to the original, except you don't actually get to control Diddy. He just kind of runs around on a donkey's back here. Um, basically, if you jump, and uh, I think there's actually going to be a little tutorial for it, so I might just... Uh, put that off till later, but yeah, that's kind of a little place right here you can use it. If you just jump and hold A, you can kind of use his jetpack for a short while to get some extra distance uh, on your jumps, so uh, we're going to be using that. It's it's really helpful. Uh, there's not a place where you do actually um, like half to get it. It's not required by any means, so um, that's just nice to have. Um, here, yeah, we've picked up quite a few of these. These are banana coins. You can use those to uh, buy things in the store, which we'll get to later. Um, here, we just want to keep ground pounding on this big DK thing, and a bunch of crazy things will happen in the background. You're going to see that quite a lot, too. It's always pretty awesome when you do. All right, so let's use the barrel and now blast back into the background. There we go. All right, you may have seen this little platform to the left here that kind of broke off. We want to blow on this dandelion here to get another puzzle piece. That's number six. Uh, so let's jump our way. If you jump on three enemies in a row, you'll get a banana coin. And then, of course, it continues for each one. I think if you get to either seven or eight, I don't remember the exact number, um, you'll start getting one-ups for each consecutive one. So that's how that works. Uh, i got some barrels here. These are automatic, but it's always pretty cool to watch. There we go. All right, so uh, I don't think there's anything in here. No, just some bananas. Of course, if you get 100 bananas on 99, go figure, uh, you get a 1-up for it. Um, also, once we get here, we want to pound on this thing with the monkey head, and we'll drop down into a bonus area, which is also a pretty big nod to the original Donkey Kong Country. Basically, we just have to collect everything here before the time runs out. Uh, the key here is that you can kind of go left and right after you come out of the barrel. Oh, well, kind of sucked. I'm messing up a bit here, but... Uh, just collect everything, make sure you don't fall, because I don't in the bonus game. When you win it, you get a puzzle piece for it. And of course, it shows you all the stuff you collected while you're inside, so that's good. Now, we're now at 7 of 9. Uh, oh, you did not mean to do that, but if you fall back in, you get a shot back up. So, you know, you can't play it twice. Um, if you mess up and fail it, you do actually have to go all the way back through the stage again. So, uh, try not to fail it, you know, if you can help it, but uh, sometimes it just happens, you know. All right, and then here you've probably seen the uh, sort of upper passageway that's leading back to the left. Uh, we're definitely going to have to take that. There's also another Kong letter over there to the right, so let's just keep on going. And there's our second-to-last puzzle piece, number eight. And head over to the right, grab the G, and there we go. That completes our uh, four Kong letters. You need to get um, all those in order to access sort of a secret bonus stage once you complete the entire world. Um, and also, the final puzzle piece is back here after the little exit barrel, so... Uh, that makes all nine puzzle pieces and all four Kong letters, so we're pretty much done here. Uh, basically, you want to try to get whatever prize you want. There's obviously bananas, a life, a banana coin, and then a little DK thing. I'm going to try to get that if we can, just to sort of show it. There we go. Then when that pops up, you just want to keep hitting it repeatedly. You'll get a different prize uh, according to what, how many times you hit it. But there you go. So that's pretty good. 
And now we get our tally, we have all four Kong letters, and of course all nine puzzle pieces, so that marks uh, pretty much 100% for this. You can also see that the image gallery has been updated, we're going to unlock extras with each stage we complete, so uh, maybe we'll check that out at the end, but for now let's just continue on. And we're going to uh, actually get to see the world map here. Hey, there it is, alright. And I also love that the uh, music here is a remix of the original menu theme from uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. I always thought that was cool. But let's move to 1-2, King of Kling. You can see we have the uh, inventory here. Um, there's a few things around, but obviously we don't have any of these, so we can't use it. We'll be getting to that in a little bit, because uh, after this world, we're actually going to uh, unlock the shop where we can purchase things with our banana coins, so we'll get into all that once we get there, but uh, for now, I say we go ahead and tackle the world at hand. Got a nice little intro here. There's one of these for every level where Donkey Kong comes in and beats his chest a little bit, so that's always fun. Um, and here we're going to be introduced to the concept of climbable surfaces. Uh, basically, you can use the, I think it's the Z button to grab, or you can also use the B that's on the back of the Wiimote. Um, but either way, we can grab onto these grass-like surfaces here and uh, use them to get over various obstacles, so that's always good. Um, the K is up here, as you can see, so when we jump to it, um, well, I, I missed it, but you can also see there's the uh, a puzzle piece there. We're going to be going into a lot of those uh, sort of cutaway areas in the ceiling a lot in this level. So uh, just make sure you're vigilant and searching for those. Uh, we also want to come around and to the left, and there's going to be yet another cut in on the same ceiling, nonetheless. So there's two right next to each other there. Uh, so let's make sure you don't pass that one up. Um, as we go over to the right, there's yet another cut in actually up here that we can go to to get our third puzzle piece. So we're racking them up already. Only seven in this level, so there's uh, two less. They're, basically, they always come in intervals of either uh, there's five, seven, or nine, just depending on the level. So. Um, that's always good to remember. Of course, it'll always tell you, so it really doesn't make that much of a difference if you know that or not. Uh, so we can come over here and pound this to get another banana coin. Uh, we're up to 21. Basically, um, you want to kind of make sure you get to 20 banana coins at some point. That's really not difficult to do, so uh, you shouldn't worry about it too much. You can see there's some stuff going on in the background there. We can pound this bulb to make a barrel here for us. And we want to uh, climb up these things and onto the ceiling to get the O. But more importantly, we also want to uh, come up to the top and hit that last barrel there in order to take us to another bonus game. Alright, and this one here, we basically just have to collect all the bananas and coins and everything sort of uh, spinning in a circle while on this bouncy platform. Um, it's really easy. As you can see, the platform is quite wide, so uh, and you've got plenty of time to do it. And there you go. Uh, just make sure, again, not to be too over-adventurous. It's very easy to lose track of where the platform is relative to you. Um, if all you're focusing on is getting all the bananas right now, so, you know. Uh, just make sure you pay a little bit of attention, but that's overall a pretty easy bonus game. Alright, so let's head back to the foreground and to the right some more. Got some more jumping frogs, these are a little annoying. I got a giant chomp here, which is awesome. And uh, this bulb here on the ceiling also houses a puzzle piece, so we're gonna have to be quick. Grab it, and go! Man, that, that's a little nerve-wracking. Alright, and here we've got a checkpoint. Once we pass it, these fireworks will go off, the pig gets all joyous. And uh, once basically, from here on out, if we die, we'll start back from the checkpoint instead of uh, from the beginning of the stage. So those are always good to get. Alright, got a chomp on the side there. Don't really need to worry about him, because he takes his sweet time trying to uh, eat you. So, you know, it's really no big deal. Uh, and from here on out, we're basically going to be going up quite a bit. So, I'm uh, going to be using a lot of climbable surfaces. You'll probably see more climbable surfaces in this level than, like, any of the other ones. So, um, here we've got another cut-in to get another puzzle piece. That's six, only one more to go. Uh, we've also got, I think, two of the Kong letters left, the N and the G. It's also worth noting that the Kong letters always appear in uh, their proper order. Oh, crap, that sucked. Alright, get out of there. I was trying to do a little shortcut. I didn't want to wait for this thing, but oh well, I guess I paid for it. Um, yeah, they always appear in the order of K-O-N-G, so you'll know if you skip one if you pick up a later one. Uh, but here we go. Here's the N if you go down to the right. Um, and now we're just about done, so let's wait for this platform to get under us. And watch out for the chomp. You can duck to get under this guy, but you really don't need to that much. I mean, that wouldn't have been a problem there. Alright, so let's jump on over and head back. Another bouncy flower. Nope. Oh yeah, there's also a uh, cut in over here. So there you go, that marks our seventh puzzle piece. So it's good, we've got them all. Uh, then we want to head over here, and you can watch out for the chop if you want. That one's a little bit more active, so... 
And then drop down onto these moving platforms, wait for an opening, and go. Another coin over there if you want. And let's just keep on going up. It's nice when you don't have to worry about picking up any more puzzle pieces. You can pretty much just go. We do still need to be on the lookout for the G, but um, those are usually pretty easy to find because you can probably see it over there on the right, so that's what we're going to be getting. Watch out for these uh, little, they almost look like suns. Uh, with, they have like blades on them. Um, those are basically the replacement for the bees. Uh, you can't really kill them, and they do damage and just kind of, you know, fly around back and forth, so... Um, all right, then we want to jump up into this barrel, and there's the exit balloon. Or exit balloon, exit barrel. There's a balloon on it, that's why I said that. Uh, I want to see what we want to get this time. I really don't care, to be honest. Oh, let's have got this again. If you get 11, it, now, I, I guess not always. I, I suppose the prize is kind of randomized. But one time I hit 11, and it was actually, it gave me 11 lives. So, <laughs> that was pretty neat, but... Alright, so there's our tally, all the Kong letters, and all the puzzle pieces. Image gallery updated, and let's continue on. That's going to finish up 1-2. So, that's pretty good stuff. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to unlock the shop now, so I suppose we could go ahead and check that out. Uh, new paths have been opened, including here, 1S Cranky Kong's Shop. So, yeah, Cranky Kong makes a return here, which is pretty awesome. About time you visited your frail old grandpa. Give me some of those shiny banana coins, and you can pick through my old things. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so yeah, we can buy stuff for various prices here. As you can see, we can buy different stacks of balloons. And uh, I actually didn't figure this part out until a long ways into the game my first time. You can also go down and buy these little inventory items. Um, Squawks here has cost 15 coins. He'll help you find puzzle pieces. Um, remember, he's one of the helpers from the original uh, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, yeah, I, I, know. I don't need the little guy either, I know. Uh, you got a heart boost here, which adds one extra heart to your heart count. That can be pretty useful sometimes. And then you have the banana juice here, which is pretty much just easy mode. It makes you temporarily invincible. Um, yeah, one drink of this juice and you'll be unstoppable, pretty much. I think it gives you, like, ten temporary hearts, so... Um, I mean, you, really, if you use this, it's pretty much like cheating. But what we're actually kind of here to buy is this key over here, the mat key. Um, it opens a locked path in this world. And basically, to sort of get 100% completion, we're going to need to buy a key for each of the uh, worlds that we're coming across. So, that's good. Got a little extra money, so I think I'll just buy a heart boost. Um, I don't know, just for future reference. I don't really plan on using it, but, uh, well, can't hurt, I suppose. And a few extra balloons just to sort of empty out our coins. And there we go. Alright, so, yeah, that's the shop. You can buy some pretty interesting things there. I just can't finish this quest without my help. Well, yeah, I could, but I couldn't get 100%, so, you know. And as you can see, once we buy the key, it's going to unlock uh, that level down there. So once we complete the next one, we'll be able to check that one out. So we're ready to take on stage 1-3, Treetop Bop. So let's do it. Uh, gotta say, I do like the uh, title of this level. It is very Donkey Kong Country-esque, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way they titled their levels, you know, like it really makes that much of a difference, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's cool, so, alright. Um, so, Treetop Bop is pretty much the same thing we've been seeing, really, and um, there's not really too much that's new, I mean, of course, because it's still just World 1, it's still the same theme, so, uh, you know, same type of thing. But, um, in this one, the difference is there are only five puzzle pieces to find, and while you may be kind of breathing a sigh of relief at that, it means they are kind of uh, cleverly hidden. Uh, case in point, you need to head to the right here instead of going that barrel to get your first puzzle piece. That can be pretty hard to find, so um, it really just depends on how explorative you are, sort of, in your gameplay style. You know, if you want to check every nook and cranny, then um, these five puzzle piece levels are really probably no problem for you. Um, there you can see the cave was up there. You just want to go ahead and grab it before heading into the next barrel. And we could go on up. That's pretty awesome, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, now these frogs um, can be really annoying. You want to make sure that they're not about to jump when you're about to jump on them. Otherwise, you'll probably end up just running into their face, and then uh, you take damage instead of them. So, obviously, we don't want that to happen. Okay, so uh, here we've got, there's sort of a discolored block in the middle of the spikes there. Keep that in mind, we can't really do anything with it um, yet. Well, that was kind of dumb. Uh, we can't do anything with it yet, but we will come back to it uh, in the near future. Now, with these frogs, um, if you want, probably the... the oh, man, that sucked. Um, <laughs> taking a lot of stupid damage here. Um, if you want, you can kind of jump over from the left if you have the jetpack, but no, I don't, so I guess we'll have to do it the longer way. Um, you want to wait for them to do their high jump so you can go underneath them. If you try to, like, jump on them from the ground level, then you won't make it. You'll uh, just run into them instead and uh, take a hit, so obviously we don't want that. All right, checkpoint here, and then right afterwards you want to pound, and there's a crate with... 
Rambi inside of it. Awesome, everyone's favorite buddy. So, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely good. Uh, but now that we've got him, um, he's pretty much godlike <laughs> in this stage, I guess you could say, because the only thing Rambi can take damage from is, like, fire damage. If it's an enemy on fire or if he just, like, runs into fire, then it'll take damage. But pretty much everything else he's immune to, including spikes. So um, he makes this level really easy. But we want to come back here and pound on this block, and uh, we'll drop down into a bonus stage. So uh, this bonus stage is pretty straightforward. I mean, you just jump around and grab the stuff, you know. That's really not that hard to figure out. The thing that's hard about this is um, you kind of feel like you're really racing against time, you know, because it feels like we're taking so long to gather all this stuff up. But um, really the key to completing this is just don't panic. Um, you're not about to run out of time. Even when the clock starts doing this, you know, I still had like seven seconds. So uh, that was plenty of time to pick up the rest of what I needed to get. So really, as long as you don't freak out there, uh, you'll probably make it. It should be alright, as long as you don't just accidentally fall down or anything. Okay, so uh, now we can continue our trek to the right. Um, as we go here, we can go underneath, break these three blocks. The rightmost one has a puzzle piece on it, so that's good. Uh, there's also a DK barrel up there, so that's nice to have our buddy back. The jetpack doesn't really work as well with Rambi. It only lasts for like a split second, so um, don't rely on it, basically. And then obviously these platforms are kind of weight sensitive, so uh, just stand on the left to make yourself a ramp up. And uh, make sure that tree is tilting to the left here uh, before you try to jump, because it's very easy to think you're going to make it, but then you end up falling short. So I uh, just be careful there. I'm going to grab this end by jumping on the frogs when they're at their lowest point. And uh, watch out for the fire enemy. This is the only thing that can actually hurt Rambi in this level, that little fire guy there, so just avoid him. Uh, and as we go to the right, we got some more blocks we can break to enter yet another bonus game. And this is probably uh, one of the more annoying varieties. These barrels are going to kind of spin around, and you got to time it out uh, to where you can grab all the stuff. And it's really easy to sort of want to rush this and uh, like end up shooting yourself into the wall or down into the pit or something. So really, it's a good idea to just go slow and make sure that you're sure of your shots. Um, you'll probably cut the time a little bit close, but um, it's better than just falling out and not having to get it, so. And that takes care of that puzzle piece. I don't, is that the last one? I don't remember how many we've got. Uh, no, that's four out of five. That's right, there's still one more. Uh, the G is just over here to the left once you come out of the bonus game. Um, if you can do it, you can jump off these frogs, but that can be kind of hard to do. Um, the easy way to do it is to just jump off this top platform. That's really no problem there. That takes care of our Kong letters, and we're about to take care of the puzzle pieces. Head over to the right and break these. And there's a prize room here with a bunch of bananas as well as a puzzle piece. Uh, so that takes care of 100% for this level. Let's head on up and uh, get the exit barrel. Let's see, we'll go with the DK again. Why not? Ah, 14. I think you can get a max of 15. So um, It's probably a good idea to go for that most of the time. I'd say you probably get the best rewards out of that. Yep, so there's our Kong letters and puzzle pieces. The image gallery's been updated again, and we can continue on. So once we beat 1-3, uh, we're actually going to get a couple of different paths. Remember, uh, the one down there at the bottom is the one we actually unlocked uh, with buying the key, and then the one up top is kind of the normal route, so we're going to move on to 1-4, which is the bottom path, Sunset Shore. And this is a pretty awesome level. Um, I think it's probably universally agreed that this is the coolest level of the uh, first world, so... Uh, you're in for a treat here if you haven't seen it before. As you can see, it's got some really awesome artistic effects here. Uh, we kind of have the Sin City effect going on in a way. You know, everything's blacked out and then the reds are really bright. And that's kind of how this whole level is. It's really cool. Uh, so first off, we want to head to the left to get an easy puzzle piece there. Um, the K, as you can see, is right underneath us, so we can ground pound that and uh, just continue on forward. The hard part about this, though, while it does look really awesome, um, is that the enemies can sometimes be really hard to pick out, especially things like the frogs that are kind of low to the ground. Um, it seems like, um, you know, a lot of times you might not be paying that much attention. So, I mean, you kind of have to make sure you're looking um, really well here in order to uh, make sure you don't get hit. Also, as you can see, some of these bushes are fake, so that makes things a little bit more difficult, too. Uh, just stay on your toes with those. Um, you can pretty much, if there's bananas like going around in a circle, you can grab all of them and something will usually appear in the middle. Um, that's kind of a general theme uh, throughout this game, so you know, just keep that in mind for the future. Also, if you kind of look at the rocks in the background, uh, you notice something a little interesting there. If you haven't been able to pick it out, then we'll be able to uh, put it together shortly. But uh, for now, the O is right here. Just ground pound the platform to make it um, straighten itself out so you can stand on it. 
As we keep going to the right, check that out. The rock in the background turns into a banana. So <laughs> if you stand here long enough, it'll explode and a bunch of prizes will come out. There's no puzzle piece here or anything. I just think it's really cool. Um, <laughs> I think that's like such a neat idea. I'm really amazed by that, I gotta say. We can ground pound here and I think, yeah, go kind of down here to get a few more uh, little prizes, but nothing too big there. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you want it. Got some more bushes to be killing here. And on up. Um, I think this is another level that only has five puzzle pieces. I guess I could have checked, but... Um, oh yeah, the checkpoints also look really cool with that bright green. <laughs> that's, that's so neat, but... Uh, if you can't tell, I'm pretty much just really overall fascinated with this design, but... <laughs> And then if we stand on this thing long enough, the uh, sun will get really bright and uh, we'll fall away to another little area with prizes here. And as you can see, a puzzle piece is among them. Uh, so that marks our second one. Get out through the barrel over here. And now uh, we've come quite a far ways to the right, but we want to backtrack a little bit. You can see the end is up there uh, in the tree. So we got to jump and grab it. Now there's only one more letter left. And as we keep going, we got another ring of bananas with a banana metal, so that's always cool. We got a cut in over here to the right with another puzzle piece, that's number three. Uh, so let's keep going. The third one and fourth one are fake, so there you go. Uh, oh wow, a banana, thanks for that. Uh, then we got these two platforms here. Uh, make sure to defeat all the enemies first so they don't cause you trouble. Uh, pound them and then jump up. There's a puzzle piece at the very top. Now there's only one more of those left, too. Uh, this overall is a pretty easy level. It's actually uh, not that hard to uh, miss. Or, yeah, not that hard to miss one. Or, not that easy to miss one. Whatever. It's easy to get all the stuff. Let's put it that way. I don't know what I'm saying here, but. Um, whoa, that was really close. Uh, so, yeah, so yeah, we've only got one more uh, puzzle piece left. We've got all the Kong letters, but the, the last puzzle piece is actually kind of uh, a little bit tricky if you don't think to uh, do it. So let's uh, keep going over to the right. We probably, I think we're about done with the level. So yeah, this is the end right here. So we've got this boxes and this head right here, and your initial instinct would be to ground pound the boxes, but hold off on that because you actually want to jump over the head and uh, go back here. Defeat both these enemies. There's a cut in up here with the final puzzle piece. And then we're pretty much done, and uh, now we can pound on the boxes and make our way through. We can roll if you want to go fast, which makes it look awesome, and then get the exit barrel. So, uh, yeah, there we go. What was the name of this level again? I completely forgot. Something with shade and sun, I don't remember. But whatever it is, 1-4 is a pretty awesome level. And, uh, you know, it's definitely my favorite of the first world, so that is uh, definitely good. It also doesn't hurt that it's pretty easy to 100%, so... <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for 1-4. Uh, Sunset Shore, that's it. Um, if we go to the right, that'll take us to 1-6, I believe, but we want to be going up next in order to do 1-5 first. So we're going to be taking on World 1-5 today, Canopy Cannons. So this is basically like a Donkey Kong Country Returns answer to the... Uh, what, what was it? Barrel Cannon Canyon, I think, in the uh, original Donkey Kong Country, because uh, there's a lot of barrel cannon uh, action we're going to be doing here, so uh, this is pretty cool. It's definitely a nice little change from the uh, just standard platforming we've been doing, so it's good. Whoa, holy crap. That's what I mean about those frogs. They can be uh, very, very annoying if you don't take your time with them. Let's see, probably just a coin. Yep, that's cool. All right, and here's where the barrel cannon stuff is going to start. Uh, basically here, you do kind of have a failsafe if you miss. There's a uh, barrel that'll shoot you back up down there. I think it only works once, though, so obviously don't miss too much. Um, and then here, we just got some more barrel cannons to uh, go about. Make sure you practice getting the metal here, because we're going to actually need it for one of the Kong letters later. So just keep that in mind. And then onto the bird. <laughs> awesome. And there's a puzzle piece in that little bulb right there. This is another one with five, so uh, make sure you're vigilant. And this one actually is probably one of the hardest yet uh, to get all the puzzle pieces on. You'll see why in a little bit. Uh, actually, you'll see why right now. Uh, once you get the O, go over here, and instead of going to the right, fire straight down. That'll take you to the next puzzle piece. This is one of those times that reminds you you're really playing a Donkey Kong Country game, because that would be almost impossible to figure out. So um, <laughs> just make sure you get that one. And uh, now as we go on, we've got another platform we can pound to go into another bonus game. And this is probably um, the most annoying. This is probably the one I hate the, uh, the most out of all of them. we got to fire back and forth and make sure we don't go into that big cannon in the middle, because that'll send us straight down uh, into the pit, which would obviously make us fail the bonus game. So uh, just you can fire back and forth twice, I've noticed, like once it passes you. So that's kind of just what I like to do. You don't really even focus too much on uh, trying to get the things. Just make sure that you don't hit the middle one. 
Uh, so we can go Mac a little ways here. There's a uh, bulb that we can hit to get the next puzzle piece. That's number four. We're already making quick progress on those. Uh, I got another DK barrel and some bouncy flowers if you want some more bananas, which I definitely do. Okay, and here we need to fly underneath this thing. Pretty simple. Uh, again, practice getting the metal. There it is. Uh, because right here, actually, we're going to need to use it to get an in. So make sure you time it. And there we go. And let's just keep going through the cannons here. Make sure you wait so you don't just accidentally fire over this one, because you will die at this point. So we got some diagonal ones. Now here you notice there's a trail of bananas at the top. That's kind of your clue to go up there. Uh, that'll get you your last puzzle piece. Now we can fire into the background through some pillars, which is awesome. Uh, make sure you miss this so you get the G. And then uh, that takes care of the 100%, so all that's left is to finish it. Make sure you hurry up here, but wait for the last two, this one, because you have to actually time it out a little bit. So uh, go fast, but not too fast. And then uh, once we get up here, we should be approaching uh, near the end of the level. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's just right around the bend. Yeah, we gotta wait till that thing opens, and then uh, shoot on down. Which is awesome. <laughs> gotta love it. They play a lot with the whole background-foreground aspect in this game. I really don't care when I get there, because that's kinda hard to time. Um, you're better off just shooting and taking whatever you get. So yeah, that takes care of uh, Canopy Cannons. That's definitely a pretty cool level. Not really as complex, I would say, as the Barrel Cannon Canyon, but... Um, definitely cool in its own right, so... Uh, it's really not Donkey Kong Country unless you have a long stretch of barrel cannons, so... <laughs> Alright, so that's going to take care of 1-5. There are only a few more levels left in World 1, so uh, we're going to be taking on stage 1-6, Crazy Cart. Yeah, you can probably guess by the name, it's going to be a mine cart level. Uh, much like the barrel cannons, it wouldn't be Donkey Kong Country if you didn't have mine cart level or, like, 7 or 8, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, right off the bat, you can probably see the first puzzle piece to the left there, so uh, that's an easy one to grab. This is another one that only has five puzzle pieces. We've been seeing a lot of those lately. Um, most of the, actually, I'm pretty sure like all of the vehicle type levels um, only have five in them, so you don't have to worry about the puzzle pieces too much. So here we can ground pound that to make an entrance up to the mines up there in the top right. But before we head in, we want to go to the left and uh, go through this doorway to take us to another bonus game. And this one, again, just collect everything. That's how all these work. Um, make sure not to forget the banana coins on the left and right side. Those can be very easy to not pay attention to when you're trying to get all this. So uh, just make sure you drop down uh, to get them at some point. And then just finish collecting everything. And there you go. I had plenty of time to spare. Uh, that one can be a little tricky because the bottom and top platforms are so wide. Um, it can take a little while to get from the bottom to the top. So uh, just a little bit of practice and you should definitely be fine there. So we head into the mines, and we can ground pound on the wooden platform and slide down a little bit. Sounds fun. Uh, jump into the barrel cannon, and we can now start our minecart section. Now, you're going to really have to be on your toes to collect everything here. Your first time through, you probably won't, so don't fret about it too much. Um, do a full jump off the third guy to get the K, and then just uh, continue on through the obstacles. We're going to have a couple of these uh, bongo-type enemies, these guys. Uh, and then after that, there's going to be another mole. Make sure to jump over him and not on him in order to get the puzzle piece down there. Uh, that can be a little bit tricky. Also, make sure to jump up there to get the O. And another puzzle piece. You had to jump a little bit earlier than you feel like you should um, in order to grab that. Now, the camera's going to zoom up. we got some bananas, a banana bunch, and a puzzle piece. So there's all five of our puzzle pieces already. All that's left is to grab the N and the G, so that's definitely good. I uh, got our checkpoint here. Now, uh, once we jump off this, stay on the top if you want in order to get a 1-up balloon. That's the more dangerous way to go, but that's how you get it. Uh, here, jump as late as possible to grab the end. That one's uh, actually kind of hard to get. Um, it's very nerve-wracking, so... And then just continue jumping on over all the obstacles. One hit and you die, so uh, just keep that in mind, because uh, your cart will go, like, exploding off into the distance. So, uh, just make sure you're really careful here. Then jump at the last second to grab the G, and we're pretty much home free at this point. We're going to go on down the hill, which is awesome looking, and then jump off. Get some coins. Then jump over here, and that's going to do it. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely a very fast-paced level. I mean, you can probably tell if it's your first time through, you're not going to get everything. Uh, that's just kind of how the level's designed. Hey, I got 15. Nice. So, that may be one you have to go through a couple times, unless you already know where everything is beforehand. But... There you go, the KONG and the five puzzle pieces, and we're done with this one. Awesome. 
So that's kind of like the uh, final normal level, I suppose, in World 1. As you can see, next up is that star there. But we're also going to unlock another level way back there. Um, and that is because we've gotten all the Kong letters on all the normal levels. So um, that's how that works. If you don't collect all the Kong letters in each of these, then that level up there will not appear. Um, there's going to be one of those for each world. If you beat those in each world, then you unlock a final ultra secret level at the end. So that's kind of one incentive to go for 100%, I suppose. But um, I think instead of... Uh, the, the star there is the boss for the world, so um, it'll kind of automatically move us on after that. Uh, so I think I'm going to backtrack and take care of this extra level that we uh, unlocked, and it's definitely a challenge. So we're going to take on 1K Platform Panic. Uh, this is one of the special levels that only happens after you collect all the Kong letters, hence the K in the name. Um, and these levels are pretty much uh, supposed to be like the cream of the crop, so to speak, as far as difficulty is concerned. Um, they're kind of, you know, special worlds, so the difficulty's ramped up just a little bit. Um, <laughs> being a little sarcastic there, but, um, so yeah. If you, you probably want to try to do this with Diddy, if you can. Um, there isn't a DK barrel at the start of this one in particular. Some of them there are, but a lot of them there aren't. So, um, if you want to, it's probably a good idea to go get him in another level and then come back. Um, Alright, so let's go over. Um, these levels do not have Kong letters in them. They only have puzzle pieces, and there are five of them. So uh, we need to be picking those up as along as we go. Uh, so, you know, on top of trying to beat this difficult level, we have to collect things along the way as well. So uh, that can be a little bit tricky. Um, as you can see already, the platforming has kind of been stepped up a bit. The first puzzle piece is up here. Uh, there we go. Wow, it's almost uh, a little bit too high, I think, for those and then just continue jumping through. Obviously, these platforms are falling away, so you don't want to stand on them too long, uh, which kind of means you have to hurry, but you also want to take your time um, so you don't jump off into, uh, you know, the bottomless pit. So here there's a vase that we can break open for the second puzzle piece, and you can kind of take a break here. Um, there are various platforms like these spread out, so you don't uh, have to rush all the time. All right, so we go through here. Uh, we're going to have to be doing a lot of low jumps to avoid things from the ceiling. And here we're going to have to be a little bit crafty. Let this fall away and then grab the puzzle piece there and then continue on from there. Uh, that can be a little nerve-wracking because the platforms fall away pretty quickly. So you really got to work out your jumps. Uh, slide down here and jump and get on the tire. Then you can use these to get across. There's a lot of sort of jumping chains you have to do as well, so make sure you're good with that. Then here you have to jump and then jump again. It's just barely up long enough to use it. That one's really hard to get. I uh, got a line of these guys here. If we jump on them all in a row, the last one will give us a one-up, so that's good. Uh, this face here just has a coin, unfortunately, not our uh, next puzzle piece. Okay, so here's where it's going to start getting pretty difficult. Um, we head over to the right. we got to jump over these guys. Um, you really need to work on bouncing off of enemies. you got to be very comfortable with it in order to get through here. Got some more spikes. Stay underneath them. And jump on up the slope here. And do a full jump to get over those spikes and onto here. As you can see, there's the next puzzle piece. Jump up here and then use the uh, enemies to get across. That's the fifth puzzle piece, so we're done with those. And now we just gotta beat this thing. Keep going to the right, jump, jump again. Once you get in the barrel, that signifies the end of the level. So. Phew, ah, you can exhale now. Yeah, that thing, it's pretty tough. The K levels are um, absolutely like serious business, so um, they can take a little bit of practice to get done. And as you can see, we get an orb at the end instead of an exit barrel, and obviously there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them corresponding to each of the eight worlds. So, uh, you know, obviously once we finish it in each of the eight worlds, that'll be filled up and something awesome will happen. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what those are. Uh, it kind of sucks that they have puzzle pieces in them, which means that, you know, you got to focus on collecting them as well, and that makes it a lot harder than just trying to complete it, but there you go. That finishes Platform Panic, so <laughs> that's the first of them. Then that one actually is comparatively really easy compared to the rest of them, too, so uh, those are probably going to be my biggest headaches going forward, but we're finished with everything in World 1 except the boss, Mugly's Mound. So, that's definitely good. Uh, this is kind of a break when you're doing 100% really, because you don't have to collect anything here, obviously. You know, no Kong letters, no puzzle pieces, so um, it's pretty much just complete the level and you're good to go. So that's definitely good. Uh, they give you a DK barrel here just in case, so that's definitely nice of them. We head over to the right and into the boss arena. All 
Alright, so here we go. The first boss, Mugly. This guy's pretty simple. He's going to charge at us here, and we can uh, just jump on his back. He's got a nice target painted for us. Uh, make sure you get it whenever the spike is retracted. That's usually only when he's attacking, so you kind of have to plan this out. Now he's going to do this jumping attack. Um, you can kind of tell what he's going to do by uh, what he kind of does before. Uh, the attack, so uh, you can jump on him pretty much at any point throughout that jumping thing. If you do it right, you can actually hit him multiple times. And so, uh, then once you hit him three times, he's going to get angry and kind of move on to his next phase, which is uh, basically the same, except his attacks are a little bit faster. So, oh well, that was kind of dumb. I was got too close. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess you can't hit him after you just got hit. And you can kind of keep bouncing on him and sort of do a uh, chain there like that. Alright, so here he's going to do a big jumping attack, which is going to send out a shock wave you've got to jump over. So, uh, let's make sure to do that. He's going to charge us one more time. And that'll take care of his second phase. Now he's going to get angry once again, and turn nice and red, and then uh, get a little bit faster. And uh, it's pretty much just the same stuff. He does add a new attack each time, I think. So, um, you do kind of have to watch out for some new stuff, but... Um, oh, wow, I didn't jump on him once. Okay, there it goes, finally. All right, here's the big shockwave attack. A little bit faster this time, but still no big deal. All right, now here he's going to charge us really fast. Uh, so just make sure to be prepared for that one. That's his new attack for this phase, by the way. Oh. All right, so I think we only need one more hit. And it looks like that's going to do it. I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh at that. That's hilarious. <laughs> so we defeated Mugly. Unfortunately, he was just being controlled, but we had to deal with him all the same. Now the uh, the Tiki guy is going to come out and be stunned. And now we can finish this thing off by jumping towards him. Finish him off. That went kind of bad. Uh, I don't know what happened, but um, either way, there we go. You hit him a bunch of times, send him off into the distance. Oh, 15, that was horrible. You can get up to, like, I've gotten 22 before, but, oh well, whatever. It was still pretty awesome, so. <laughs> there you go, we defeated the boss, the music gallery's been updated, and the diorama gallery has been updated. That's kind of interesting. And there we go, that's going to finish off World 1. We've gotten all the puzzle pieces, all the Kong letters, and defeated the boss, so we are done with the jungle. The place kind of uh, falls apart there. And the flag. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to automatically move us over to the beach, which is going to be our next world. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess now would probably be a good time to point it out. I'm really disappointed in how they named the worlds. You know, there's jungle and beach. It's not, um, like, I don't know. I mean, because all the other Donkey Kong Country names have been, like, so creative. The world names, you know, like, Crim Croc Industries and... Uh, let's see what else were there. There were the Chimpy Caverns or something like that, and the, uh, you know, all that stuff. So it's kind of disappointing that it's just the forest and the beach, but you know, I guess you have to live with it. So anyway, okay, there's my rant done. I'm going to end the video now, and uh, next time we will start on World 2, the beach. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.